Well, don't test your luck. That's the warning from officers this holiday weekend. Over St. Patrick's Day weekend in 2018, there were 2,600 reported crashes in North Carolina. 12 of them were deadly. In South Carolina, there were 1,100 crashes, resulting in 13 deaths. Those numbers come as our Defenders team learns the number of people dying in alcohol-related crashes in Charlotte is going up. Meanwhile, the number of people arrested and cited for driving while impaired continues to plummet. Our team found DWI arrests are down 60% over the last five years. In 2014, there were nearly 2,400. And by 2018, they hit a five-year low at just 948 arrests. CMPD admitting the numbers are concerning, but assured our Nathan Morbido that taking drunk drivers off the road is still a top priority. Nate? A DWI attorney is questioning that tonight. Right now, CMPD only arrests less than three people a day for DWI. That's compared to more than six a day back in 2014. Police say it's not for lack of trying. Inside and out, a beautiful soul. Mary Brooks died at the hands of a drunk driver last year in Charlotte. I have been like kind of living in a nightmare. Her family and friends left only with their memories. In the years leading up to her death, state records show the number of fatal alcohol-related crashes in Mecklenburg County increased to 51 in 2017, from 28 two years prior. All while DWI arrests and citations by Charlotte Mecklenburg police kept dropping. I mean, it's real. The numbers are down. We noticed that and we're concerned about that. Major Mike Smathers says charging someone with DWI is time consuming, taking hours just to arrest someone and then requiring up to eight court visits over the course of a year. He told us that time commitment, along with Charlotte's growing population and need for more police officers to answer other calls, leave less time to find drunk drivers. When officers are there fulfilling those duties, they do not have the as much proactive time to then hunt and find that impaired driver. There's no question about the enforcement, the need for enforcement across the board, not just in Mecklenburg County, but statewide. DWI attorney Bill Powers doesn't think it's as much of a priority as it used to be. He questions why the department only dedicates six full-time officers to its DWI task force. This isn't people that wear the white shirts and have the gold bars on their shoulders. This is a in large measure, in my mind, an abdication of their role and responsibility of setting policy. Major Smathers says he's comfortable with the size of CMPD's DWI task force. Just having more people on a full-time task force wouldn't necessarily impact that department-wide. Obviously, it would have some impact. He told us it all comes down to a balancing act. It's very important. Saying while DWI enforcement is important, there are other public safety issues in the city, too, including an increase in the number of pedestrian deaths. I would be remiss to not have this department moving toward addressing those pedestrians that are being struck just because I know that DWI enforcement is important. I feel like I have a duty to both. Bottom line, CMPD says there's no single reason for the declining DWI arrests. The agency's message tonight, police are trying to balance the needs of the city of Charlotte with the resources available. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.